And so, um, welcome <laughs> to our senior workshop. The goal for today's workshop is to make sure that students who have not made plans as seniors understand that there are still some options for education uh, post graduation. Um, so today we have a few guest speakers. Um, Mr. Gandolfo from Pinellas Technical College, um, Mr. Sebastian Amato from SPC, as well as Coach Carbart from SPC as well. Um, so I am going to turn it over to Mr. Gandolfo to tell us a little bit about um, Pinellas Technical College, what they offer and their admissions requirements. All right, good evening, everybody. I'm going to uh, share my screen. Let's see if, uh... okay. Okay, are we all seeing a good looking kid on the uh, screen right now? Yes, we are seeing an adorable child. <laughs> That's my grandson. Okay, hang on just one. There we go. Okay, so. I am uh, Mike Gandolfo. I'm a occupational specialist for Pinellas Technical College, the, the Clearwater campus. Um, we have two campuses. We have a campus in uh, in St. Petersburg, uh, right across the street from Gibbs High School, and uh, we have uh, the Clearwater campus uh, right off of East Bay. Um, uh, my uh, contact information is, is uh, at the bottom. I'm gonna uh, when we get to the uh, last slide, uh, I, I'll put it back up for you. Um, on our two campuses, we have a, a total of about 60 different programs, 40 different career paths for uh, students to take. Um, the mission of uh, Pinellas Technical College is to provide students the opportunity to develop national workplace competencies to fill the needs of business and industry. Um, and our vision is uh, to become the uh, community's first choice for workforce training. Um, we have quite a few industry uh, partners. Um, we have uh, over 600 um, uh, employers that are, are regularly uh, on our uh, uh, job boards looking for, for uh, students. Um, there is a huge uh, need. There is a, right now uh, uh, the average age of a skilled worker in the United States is 57 years old. Uh, and uh, we, it, this does present uh, a, a problem because there'll be about two million unfilled jobs in the next uh, uh, three years. But uh, it presents a great opportunity for young people because these employers are now uh, paying uh, more money because they're competing against each other to get the few uh, precious resources the young uh, empl employees. Uh, getting started with PTC is is, is uh, fairly easy. Uh, you can apply online. Uh, once you've applied, um, you'll get a response within 24 hours usually. Um, we recommend that uh, uh, any student uh, interested in coming to PTC make sure it's a good fit, that they shadow the program that they're interested in. Uh, I do tours to, to help them narrow down uh, the uh, uh, what they're what they might be interested in. if they're not sure I, I just show them a variety and then once they've narrowed it down they they shadow the program uh, and uh, they speak or interview with the uh, instructor uh, that's not the instructor interviewing them it's the student interviewing the instructor making sure that this is the, the person that they they're going to be able to uh, to learn from um, <clears throat> There's a, a basic skills uh, called a TABE test that uh, uh, most applicants um, uh, take. It, it's the same one that uh, the US Army uses. It's just a basic skills test. Uh, it, but of course, if you're a, a Pinellas County School student um, and you graduate from one of our high schools, uh, you're just automatically going to be admitted once you, you apply on. Um, uh, you know, you, you're automatically going to be enrolled. Um, 
The registration packet is fairly simple. It, it, there's uh, just three items that uh, need to be filled out. Uh, um, if you're from Pinellas County Schools, you've already got a student ID number. You're already in our system. Um, it requires two proofs of uh, residency to, to qualify for uh, um, in-state tuition. Um, you can apply for financial aid, uh, the Pell Grants, uh, um, um, or, or you can use uh, college prepay, you can use Bright Futures, anything you can use uh, with a traditional college, you can uh, scholarship wise, you can use here, you schedule uh, um, a time, you get an invoice and, and you just go to the bookstore and pay uh, either through your financial aid or uh, um, out of pocket. Uh, on campus, we have uh, each campus has three uh, different uh, uh, school counselors. Uh, they're all assigned certain programs, so uh, they know their programs well. They know their instructors, uh, and they're they're just a world of wealth and 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 help uh, for uh, any incoming student. Um, these are the the counselors for our St. Petersburg uh, uh, campus. Uh, we have a financial aid team uh, led by Donna Falk and uh, uh, on both campuses there are two uh, ladies that are uh, financial aid specialists uh, that uh, uh, can help uh, and you know our goal is to make sure that no one has ever has to borrow money to uh, um, uh, to get their education. Uh, we don't believe in student loan debt. We want to make sure that uh, you come out uh, ready to earn, not ready to pay back. So um, uh, if uh, the Pell Grant doesn't work, there are other scholarships available. Uh, there are other ways uh, uh, that you might be able to uh, uh, take care of the financial part. Um, <clears throat> one of the best parts about the, being in my position is that I, um, I get to recruit young people uh, from the different high schools. Uh, and then I follow them as they progress uh, once they get uh, on our campus. Um, and um, when I'm doing tours, I always bump into some of my old uh, uh, recruities and I talk to them and I was able to compile this, this list of uh, 10 reasons why the students were telling me that, uh, you know, convinced them to come to Pinellas Technical College. Uh, they're not in any particular order, but one of course is the, uh, the ease of admission, especially if you're a, um, a Pinellas County um, in one of our schools, because if you graduate uh, from uh, one of our high schools, then you, you're going to uh, uh, you're, ju you're just going to be admitted. Um, you're you become a priority. Um, the the hands on training, 80% uh, of whatever program you're in, what you'll be doing is what you'd be doing if if you were in that field. So if you're uh, in nursing, you're going to be uh, uh, in our nursing program. You're going to be 80% of your time uh, working, uh, handling patients live or or uh, uh, dummies. Um, but uh, you'll spend your time in the in doing the clinicals. But 80% of what I, what you're doing is going to be uh, actually hands on, um, and 20% is going to be traditional book work uh, and um, you know lectures and so forth. Uh, it, it's pretty much the same with all our programs. If you're if you're in uh, auto mechanics or diesel or marine services or in any of the computer fields, uh, interior decorating. I mean, we have so many different programs. 80% um, of what you do will be that hands on. Uh, and, and for our students um, that point to this, uh, they learn better. Um, by actually doing the work than, than uh, somebody telling them how to do it or reading about it in the book. Um, <clears throat> we have small class sizes, which uh, any instructor will tell you is uh, a benefit to uh, students. Students don't fall through the cracks. Uh, we notice if they get behind. Uh, um, and, you know, to be honest, which a lot of our classrooms are not traditional classrooms, they're workshops and, and there are um, you know, if you're working with electricity, they can really throw you for a loop if you don't do the right thing. And uh, we have sharp objects in uh, in our uh, cabinet making program. And um, there's just the, you know, welding has sparks flying. So uh, we 
you have to have the small class sizes. It's uh, it's an OSHA requirement, and uh, we want to make sure that you're learning in the uh, most uh, safest uh, uh, educational atmosphere. Uh, so we, we keep those classes small. Um, uh, a lot of our students love the variety. Uh, PTC is a great place that I mean you can come in as you know you want to be an electrician you can study uh, our electricity program and you could do that for the rest of your life or you could use that as a stepping stone you know you want to go to a four-year university maybe you want to be an electrical engineer now you have the practical experience um, so whatever it is that you want to do whatever your ultimate goal is uh, where we can be a step in that path uh, I always tell students, uh, you know, uh, young people that, uh, you know, you're going to spend 90,000 hours at work. Uh, the average person spends 90,000 hours at work. And, and if you're going to do something uh, for that long and spend that much time in, of your life, you want to do something that's going to bring you a happiness that you're going to feel rewarded doing. And of course, uh, um, you, you will once you decide what that is, uh, the path that you take could could look different. You know, some people can go straight, jump right to a four year uh, a university. And some of us like myself, you know, I had to work a couple of years uh, with a skill. I was a carpenter and, and uh, um, earn enough money so that I could afford to go to college. Uh, and the nice thing about that was that I didn't have to take out any uh, student loans and, and uh, I was able to pay for it uh, with, with, with my savings. So um, whatever your your goal is, uh, don't let nothing stand in your way. Just, uh, you know, decide what is going to make you happy, then figure out the path that's going to get you there. Um, uh, of course, the affordability is always uh, uh, highlighted. Uh, you know, the average college can run anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars uh, or more uh, per credit hour. Uh, Pinellas Technical College, uh, if you are a uh, in state paying in state tuition, you're paying two dollars and ninety two cents, uh, a mere fraction of what you would be paying uh, in, in some of our uh, uh, programs. You're going to spend more money in uh, buying, collecting your tools, which of course you get to use our tools, but uh, as you're preparing yourself, if you're going to be an auto technician or a diesel technician or a marine service technician or uh, a, a carpenter in our wood shop uh, or a welder, you, you're going to start collecting electricians. They start collecting, you know, we we we, we kind of let them know that it's a good idea to start getting, uh, you know, every time you get a paycheck or once, once a week and you go and shop and buy one so you don't get clobbered all at once uh, uh, buying your tools. But the affordability is, is always, always mentioned uh, uh, because it really is a great value for what you get. Um, uh, the program length, most of our programs, we have programs that go from uh, six months long to uh, 18 months long, uh, but most of them fall in that 11, 12, 13 month uh, range. So we can tell people, um, that you can have a career in a year because most of our, our uh, programs fall within that year. Uh, so the reason we can do that is because you're not taking any electives. You're not uh, going to be taking a language. You're not taking a, a phys ed class. You, you're spending your time learning whatever it is that you're going to be um, uh, doing for a living. Uh, so uh, we're able to, to, to put the hours in and uh, uh, get you out to the uh, workforce uh, in, in usually within a year. Um, they they love the career focused and and uh, um, the example I always use when I talk to students on on this point uh, and and parents will relate to this uh, is when uh, you have your student is um, doing a math problem that they're having particular problems with and they can't solve that problem and they, they start to get frustrated. And you've heard them saying, this is stupid. Why do I have to do this? When am I ever going to use this? And, and I do assure them that uh, they will use it someday. It's going to pop up and they're going to remember that they they uh, uh, were complaining about this. But the that aside, that moment never happens 
at Pinellas Technical College because at Pinellas Technical College, you know why your instructor is asking you to do something because your boss is going to ask you to do something very similar to that. This is what's going to make you a better welder. It's going to make you a better electrician, better cabinet maker, a better uh, uh, a web developer, whatever it is your program is. Uh, you know why you're doing every assignment, every uh, thing that uh, you're asked is asked of you. Um, they love the flexibility and convenience. Um, we start at seven in the morning. We're done at twelve fifteen. Uh, so if that Pell Grant isn't covering just about everything, well, you still have all afternoon and the evening to uh, to um, uh, have a part time job and 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 make a few dollars and 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 pay the expense yourself. Again, we just don't want to see anybody um, <clears throat> have to borrow money, and uh, the convenience, you know, of, of having five um terms a year which means you you pay as you go and so you're only coming up with 20 percent uh every, every time so uh um they do they always cite the the flexibility and the uh, convenience um the industry partnerships are wonderful i mean we have uh, uh bay care we have yamaha we have um uh, Honda, uh, we have uh, you know big companies that uh, are constantly donating and partnering with what is with us, uh, uh, making sure that we have everything that we need uh, to to make sure that the students are coming out with the most up to date uh, knowledge as they uh, as they go through their programs. Um, it's it's in Honda's best interest to 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 donate cars to us to take apart put back together again just so that our they know that there's somebody out there uh, in the workforce that's going to be able to keep that has knowledge of their braking system their electrical system and 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 things like that so they you know it's worth it for them to uh, to do that um, and of course uh, the high employment rate because we have those industry partners uh, and we have so many and we have also have so many uh, uh, just local employers that are constantly looking for work uh, um, and begging us basically uh, you know uh, to provide them I had a guy uh, he needed a hundred HVAC people in in, uh, in in the next month and I'm like I'm sorry we, we just can't we can't put them out that fast, but that's the kind of, of high demand that's that's out there right now, uh, especially in the hospitality industry, uh, the tech industry, and um, uh, and and a lot of the and a lot of the trades as well. Uh, so um, uh, most of our students uh, are, are going to have a job within a month or two of uh, of leaving us. Many of them are going to have one before they even leave. Um, so uh, I, I this is a picture that I a poster that uh, came out in 1972. Um, and and it, it's really uh, uh, it's something that I use uh, when I talk to students uh, um, because uh, this this poster used to be in a lot of guidance counselors um, uh, offices uh, and, and the poster basically uh, when they had a student come in, um, they would point at this, you know, the student was looking for guidance. They would point at this poster and, and, and basically say, well, which guy do you want to be? And, and uh, you know, of course, uh, you have the gentleman uh, uh, with the diploma or, or the degree in his hand. Uh, and it's odd, you know, but, you know, the sky is nice and blue and uh, the, the grass is nice and green. He's nice and clean. He has a, uh, he's got a smug look on his face because he's proud. He should be proud. He he, he earned his his degree. Uh, uh, that's a, that's a big achievement. Um, but and I don't have any problem with the gentleman. I have a uh, college uh, degree. I have a master's degree as well. And uh, um, you know that's that that's not. I, I would never deter anybody. If that's what's going to make you happy, if if what your goal is requires a, a degree, then you have to do that. Uh, and and uh, if PTC can be a stepping stone to get you there, that's fine, but uh, nothing should stand in the way of, of, of that goal. I do have a problem with the gentleman on the right, uh, on my right, uh, um, holding the wrench, uh, everything around him uh, is, is dirty and, and grimy. Um, this was really a, a very successful 
campaign, uh, one of the best advertising campaigns in the history of advertising. Um, and, and you see he's dirty and he has this horrible look on his face because uh, that, you know, he dragged himself out of bed this morning uh, to get to work. Uh, uh, not somebody that got, got up uh, with, with a spring in his uh, step and, and ha happy to go to work uh, yeah. because it's something he, he finds rewarding. Well, I like to tell students that that's uh, um, definitely uh, no one should be that unhappy. Uh, there are uh, if you're that unhappy, you need to find another job and, and uh, um, then quit this job. I always tell them find one first then quit. Um, what I have a lot of problem with uh, in this poster is that uh, saying on the bottom to work smart, not hard. Uh, and, and I and I I'd like students to know that uh, we live in the United States of America, where, where people from other nations uh, um, struggle to get here. They they go through uh, um, whatever they have to to get to this country because they understand that if you work hard in the United States, you can be successful. The opportunity is here. You have to work hard to be successful. The problem I have with the saying um, below is that while all the people from other countries that come here understand that, our own homegrown uh, have been taught for generations that uh, uh, if you work smart, you don't have to work hard. So if basically saying that if you do hold that piece of paper that the young man is holding, uh, that you'll never have to work hard. Uh, that would be news to most of your teachers uh, and most of the uh, adults on this um, um, on, on, on this uh, meeting tonight um, because they have degrees and uh, I guarantee you they work hard. Uh, so to tell people to that they don't have to work hard, that uh, um, they can work smart is really a fallacy. Uh, so if I had to change this, uh, I feel that um, anyone of these people could replace that gentleman because if you notice they all have smiles on their faces um, because they're doing what they love to do. Uh, this is what makes them happy. Um, they uh, get it that you can work smart and you work hard. You have to work hard. If you want to be successful, it doesn't matter if you're in uh, uh, in sports, if you're in, in the arts, if you're in entertainment, uh, the people that work the hardest are the most are more successful. That's just how it works. Uh, so they get that. They also are not saddled with um, uh, student loan debt, um, and they are making money. Uh, so, you know, if I had to change that, I would definitely change the saying to work smart and work hard, and I would uh, uh, have someone like any of these folks here uh, on that poster. Um, so, you know, the, the time is, I think, uh, uh, the economy is, is pushing for it to, to, for us to break those um, uh, thoughts of technical college being a place where uh, uh, students that can't cut it in regular traditional college go. Because uh, if you came to our uh, school and you took a tour, I, I think you would be extremely wow. amazed. At, uh, at what's going on there. And um, uh, if you talk to our students, they'll all tell you that uh, this is college. This is college. College. This is 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 college. So our students uh, do have um, um, an opportunity, even though we're just a community school uh, and, uh, you know, there aren't dorms there. People just uh, uh, we're a commuter school. So uh, but we do have a, a media center and we have uh, the uh, career at rocket is our um, uh, our job posting where uh, students will um, uh, upload their um, their resumes 
Uh, we do have uh, uh, practice for writing resumes. We have practice for interviewing. We have mock interviews with uh, with real uh, employers uh, that that uh, come and and help us out with that. Um, we participate in the Skills USA, the uh, Future Business Leaders uh, of America, the National Technical Honor Society. We have a student council, and uh, Youth Connect is uh, um, on our campus. They actually have an office. Uh, right on our campus. Um, so you're not going to walk out of our uh, um, institution with um, a degree. Uh, what you walk out with is is uh, um, a certification, an industry certification. Basically, that's saying that the industry, um, um, the industry views you as being able to do that kind of work. Uh, so the certificate increases uh, uh, their your comp your um, your compensation. Uh, the more certifications that you have, especially in the uh, tech industries, the uh, the uh, the more money you'll be able to make. You'll also earn a uh, certificate of completion. Um, and we have articulation agreements. We have an articulation agreement with uh, St. Petersburg College and other statewide institutions that allow uh, hours to be transferred, um, you know, toward a, a, an AS or an AAS degree. Um, so, um, if there is anybody that has any questions, uh, my um, uh, my information, my my email is there, uh, highlighted in yellow on the bottom. Um, I, I'd be more than happy to answer any uh, questions that you have uh, for me right now. If there are any questions, please feel free to either put them in the chat or take yourself off mute and ask your question verbally. Okay, well, it seems that we don't have any questions at the moment, um, but I will make sure that when I send out our workshop video, as well as any links that I will include your email address as well. Very good. Um, have I stopped sharing? Uh, no, not yet. If you click the X, it'll stop. Okay, thank you thank so you. much for all that information. Um, I think it's always very useful because like you said, um, everybody starts in different places and it's important to realize that just because you don't start at a four university doesn't mean that you can't get to a specific place. Um, we like to call those stackable credentials. So I've definitely seen students who, especially in like nursing, will start at a place like Pinellas Technical College, get some years of nursing experience, and then take that experience, go get an associate's degree, um, and then go get a bachelor's degree so that as they're going through their, their career of education, they're also gaining, you know, work experience and they're gaining money. So with that being said, um, I would like to introduce our next speaker, um, which is Mr. Sebastian, who will be telling us a little bit about uh, St. Petersburg College. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me go ahead and share my screen as well. And let me know if you guys are seeing it. We can see it. All right, perfect. Well, um, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Sebastian Amaro. I am the uh, uh, admissions recruiter for St. Pete College. And today I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about the college and what we have to offer and, and why uh, students choose us over so many other institutions. Uh, first of all, I would like to start by uh, talking about the academic programs we offer. We do have more than 100 academic programs and they go from really short term programs, three months, six months, uh, which will be our certificates, all the way up to our bachelor's degree, which are four years. But in between, we do have our associates in arts or AA degrees and our associates in science or AS degrees. Um, Want to talk a little bit about the AA degree because that's um, something that a lot of high school students um, come to us for. And that's pretty much your first two years, right? Um, no matter what a bachelor's degree you're going for, um, you do need to get your AA first, which pretty much involves all of your general education courses, electives, as well as some prereqs to whatever bachelor's you're applying for. Um, 
We also have four associate in science degree. Those uh, degrees are um, not as long as a bachelor's. They're about two and a half to three years. Um, and, and they pretty much prepare you um, to go directly into the workforce. Um, and of course, as I mentioned, our bachelor's degrees. Uh, some students come and do their AA and get bachelor's degrees elsewhere, which that's great. And we, I'm actually going to talk a, a little bit about our partnerships with different institutions. But we also have our own bachelor's degrees. Like, for example, myself, I came to SBC, got my AA, and then I didn't transfer. I, I continue with my bachelor's degree, degree here at SBC. Um, going back to the associates in, our, uh, in science degrees, these are all the different degrees that we offer. Um, just want to point out the ones in red, like the nursing uh, program. Uh, those in red mean that you're guaranteed to make at least $50,000 upon graduation. Uh, they're pretty popular programs and, 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 and pretty competitive to get into, but that's because of um, how good these programs are, the partnerships we have, for instance, with the nursing program and the partnership we have with Baycare. Before you graduate, you're already working with them. Uh, so it is a huge advantage, but of course we do have other programs, not just health related, uh, from business administration to computer networking, uh, criminal justice, human services, you name it. Um, and again, these are the two and a half to three year programs, so they're a little shorter, uh, but like I said, uh, you have a pretty much a guarantee a job as soon as you're done with it, making good money as well. We also have our bachelors, as I mentioned. Um, which you know um, i believe is 20 um different bachelor's degree that we have which again you don't have to transfer to an university you can come and get it done with us we have the same credentials same same accreditations as any uh uh other university uh so uh and the big difference is that you're you're paying a lot less so it, for those that works better to stay uh definitely it is a good option like i said myself I did, and I graduated with my business administration degree from, from SBC. And as you can see on the screen, we do have other health and science degrees, College of Education as well, if you want to become a teacher, as well as policy and legal studies and public safety bachelor's degrees. Of course, the biggest thing that everyone talks about is uh, costs. Um, uh, as I mentioned, if you compare us with any other university, uh, uh, I believe we're uh, over 50% less than, than, than any other um, University in Florida, so you're looking at about $111 per credit hour. Um, if you were a full time student, so we consider a full time student someone who takes at least 12 credits, then you'll be looking at $1,300 per semester. Now, this is not including financial aid, so we always encourage students to apply for financial aid, even if you think you don't qualify for it, because um, you never know what you can get. And so definitely take advantage of financial aid. But we also have our foundation scholarship. Uh, uh, as a student myself, I took advantage of both financial aid and the foundation scholarship that helped me pay for, for classes. But this is just an overview of how much it will cost um, to get your, let's say, AA degree, um, which is 60 credits, about two years um, with us. Another great thing about SPC, and as you can see on the right hand side, this is the Pinellas County map, and you can see we're pretty much everywhere throughout throughout the, the county. Uh, that is huge because that means the most likely if you're in Pinellas, uh, within 10 to 15 minutes of your home, you're, you, there is a campus. And so that makes it easier uh, as far as taking classes and, and coming to campus. Um, but we also are pretty big online, and uh, we're actually number one in Florida. Um, when it comes to online uh, education, especially after COVID, um, and with more than 50 online programs and, and over 650 online courses. Um, another benefit, because we understand that some students um, need to work, uh, have family, have things going on, uh, is that you can take classes during the weekend. Um, so if you're, if, you know, if it doesn't work during the week, that's fine. Uh, might take you a little longer to finish your degree, but but it's an option for, for you to, to um, to take classes during the weekend uh, and also or um, um, flexible semester start times. So uh, we offer three semesters throughout the year uh, that will be spring, summer and fall. But within each semester, we have different uh, um, sessions. So we have a regular term, which is 16 weeks, uh, but we also have express courses and then um, even eight week courses. So definitely if I, I, I know a lot of students that like to, um, you know, 
finish their degree a little earlier, so they go with the eight week course or express courses, which of course means it's a little more fast paced, but again, it is an option for, for you guys. Um, what do we have to offer as, as an institution? Um, well, as soon as you become a student, um, you get an academic assigned advisor to you. That means that whatever degree program you chose as part of your application, an advisor is, that's a specific for the program will be meeting with you and answering all your questions. We also have career services, which now they're called career navigators. Um, they will be the ones helping you prepare for um, create a resume or, or help you uh, with a resume, um, do mock interviews and, and also look for internships. So we also want to make sure that not only you succeed in school, but also after after you're done with us, um, um, that you can you know be part of the community and contribute because that's that's the whole point of the college, right? Want to make sure that you graduate and, and get in the workforce uh, and start working, earning money. Um, as a student, uh, you also get free tutoring. So no matter what subject it is, um, you you can come to one of our campuses and get free tutoring. You also can do it online, and and I believe they're there in through pretty pretty late hours uh, in the day where you can just jump in online and, and get um, get help on any subject you, you need. Um, personalized academic pathway. So one of the things you do with the advisor um, once you once you become a student is create a learning plan and they'll literally map out all of your classes depending on what degree you're going for and you'll know exactly how long it's going to take you. Um, you know exactly which courses you'll be taking and so it give you a good idea um, to 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 see um, you know what it would take to get whatever degree is. Of course, the academic plan can change uh, because things happen, but it is it is it is a good guide through your um, uh, stay here at the college. And of course, we have many clubs and organizations. One of them is our student uh, government association for those who are looking to get involved and become a leader in your community. This is a great way to do it because they handle a big uh, budget and so um, they have a lot of responsibilities and, and, and it's a great way to, to get involved. But we also have many other clubs that you can join and you could even create your own club if you wanted to. All you need is six other people um, and, and, and you, you will talk to our student life and leadership coordinators to, to start your own club. Uh, just recently I learned that a student of us created a gaming club and guess what? All they do is play video games. So, um, so it is possible. Going back to the uh, partnerships I mentioned in the beginning of getting your AA degree here at SPC and then transferring over to an university, which again, a lot of high school students, that's what they want to do. Um, we do have partnerships. Um, I want to talk about our uh, partnership with USF, which is the FUSE program. It's an amazing program because you come here to SPC, you get your AA, um, you get charged the SPC rate, which was, as I mentioned, is a lot less than than a USF, for instance. But as a few student, you get to participate on USF events, for instance, football games, um, any type of activity they're doing there, even using their facilities. Um, you get a special ID that says you're a few student. And so it gives those students that want to have that university experience uh, the opportunity to take classes with us, but also uh, enjoy all, all, all of what USF has to offer. Um, now, not every program that USF offers is part of the FUSE program. Um, so as you can see here, these are the programs we have uh, for both USF St. Pete and USF Tampa. Um, but to be honest, if the program that you're looking for is not here or is not part of FUSE, that's OK, because one of the greatest things we have at SBC is that if you graduate with your AA degree, you have guaranteed admission to any public university, regardless of what it is. So of course, the FUSE is more specific, and if the program we have uh, the program you want, um, it's part of the FUSE program, great. But if not, don't worry, you could still transfer uh, to any university in Florida and have guaranteed admission. Another thing, and I think I mentioned earlier, we have the same accreditation as any university in the United States. That means that any credit you take here with us will transfer over anywhere you go, no matter what, which is a huge advantage as well. We have something similar um, as well uh, with uh, Florida, Florida AMN University. Um, and again, it's the at night program where you come here, you get your associates, your A8, and then transfer over and you have guaranteed admission to FMAU. Um, we don't have as many programs as we do with USF, but those are the programs we have. Again, it's fine if <laughs> the program you're looking for, it's, it's not there because you still have guaranteed admission graduating with SBC with your um, associates in arts degree. 
Now talking about SBC and how do you become a student, right? So first thing you need to do is apply. You need to complete the student application. The student application is uh, how you get your student number. With the student number is how you get all the um, uh, uh, different resources we have to offer. So, um, you know, that's kind of your, 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 what you have to do to start off. I want to mention the, the, it says here, pay 40, applic 40 application fee if required. I want to mention we have something coming up next week where if a student applies uh, at a specific event, um, you can get the $40 fee um, waive. So definitely take advantage of, and actually I'm going to exit out of this presentation real quick so I can show you if there's anyone out there that wants to uh, take note of this. We're having our Explore SPC event. And, and like I said, during this event, if you apply, we won't charge you the $40 application fee. We have, um, we will be at all of our different campuses and centers uh, from April 12th to April 14th. So again, depending where you live, whichever campus is closer to you, I uh, encourage you to to stop by and, you know, not only you're going to save yourself some, some money, but you're also going to get an opportunity to do a campus tour, explore campus life. You get to talk to academic advisors about whatever degree you're interested. Um, there are also going to be financial aid advisors out there that can talk to you about uh, how to complete your FAFSA application, how to apply for scholarships. Uh, so it's these are the different um, dates that we're going to be in each campus. So April 12th is going to be our Seminole Campus and Health Education Center. April 13th, we're going to be at Clearwater Downtown and Midtown Center. And then April 14th, we'll be at our Gibbs Campus and Tarpon Springs Campus. And all of these um, um, events will, will take place between 3 to 7 p.m. So just show up any during the time frame and, and you'll be able to take advantage of what I just mentioned. Now, if for some reason you can't make it, we will have a similar event online, so virtual, uh, April 19th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. So if you're really serious about starting with us, uh, this will be a great opportunity uh, for you to, to, you know, save some money at the same time that you get to... Uh, to explore what we what we have to offer. But going back to the admission process, you complete the application. If you have to pay the $40 fee because you didn't go to our event, which I hope you will, then you pay the $40 fee. Then you also need to, if you're graduating high school, you wanna make sure that after you graduate, the, the guidance counselor office know um, to send us your official high school transcripts with the graduation date posted. It's very important that you do that. Um, as far as financial aid goes, as I mentioned, please apply for FAFSA. Uh, when you're completing your FAFSA application, it's going to ask you where do you want this FAFSA to be sent. So our school code for SPC is 001528. You can also um, look us up by name, but it just makes it easier when you have the school code available. So please, please, please apply for, for, for the FAFSA application. And, and then once you're gone through all those steps, oops, sorry, then you you want to meet with an advisor, um, which again, like I mentioned earlier, that's who you're going to talk to about what you want to do here with us. You're going to talk about um, uh, you know different degree options for you. They're going to be able to to walk you through the steps. One thing that the advisor the advisor is also going to uh, see is if you need to take the placement test. A great benefit um, is that we don't require any SAT or ACT scores. I was just uh, the, the past few weeks going to high schools and a lot of students were telling me they were concerned that they couldn't go to college because they couldn't get a, a, a score high enough for ACT or SAT. Well, at SPC, you don't have to worry about that. Of course, if you have an SAT or ACT score uh, and you want to provide that, great. That might make you uh, eligible to not have to take the placement test. But if not, it's not a problem. We give you the placement test. We offer the test. You can do it at one of our campuses or you, can, you could even do it online as well. And um, the test is not a pass or fail. It's literally a placement test just to see where you're going to start. Um, so there's no worries there. And it's also another benefit of, of coming um, to S to SBC. So as you can see, it's a pretty uh, easy process, to be honest. I I believe, and, and I'm as someone who came to SBC as a student. I also happen to work here now. But as someone who came here as a student, I believe everyone should consider coming to SBC, no matter what they want to do after, no matter if they want to get for a bachelor's, master's, or just come here and get a certificate, I think every, it should be an option for everybody just because of what we have to offer, um, the cost. And again, we have the same credentials as any other university in, in, in the U.S. So um, I think with that, uh, we, we get this question a lot of why SPC, uh, and we like to, 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 to ask why not. 
and and again it goes to 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 what I was just saying earlier of I think it should be an option I, I don't I don't see any reason why a student shouldn't come to SPC first uh, whether that is to get your bachelor's or transfer over um, and with that uh, this is my contact information so if you do have any questions uh, email me uh, give me a call I'm here to answer all your questions point you to the right uh, contact uh, and I think if we have time, if you want to unmute yourself or type any questions in the chat, please feel, feel free to do so. Hi. Hi. Um, yes. I have been taking classes at SBC for the past year with dual enrollment kind of opportunities with because uh, it was affiliated with my school and <laughs> So I believe I'm admitted, I think, if I if I know right. But I don't think I received any email, even though I have been taking these classes. And I'm not sure how it worked for me to, like, log into the, like, um, the homepage because of the fact that every time that I try to log in, it asks and I, like, I'm like, oh, um, let's change the username or something. It asks for my social security number. But since I'm here with a visa and I'm not from the United States, I don't have one. So I have no way of getting into the home page and try to even contact someone to talk about my situation or my or for me to get an AA because I can't I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> OK, no, no worries. So uh, first of all, let me let me start off by by just making sure uh, I mentioned this that I don't think I mentioned during my presentation. Everyone that applies to SBC is admitted. We have an open door policy, so every student is welcome. Um, and in regards to your question and your situ situation, as a dual enrollment student, there is a, an, a supplemental application that you will need to complete. So it's not like you have to apply again uh, because you already have a student number, um, but you do need to um, complete the supplemental application, which pr pretty much what it does is that it takes you on our system from dual enrollment student to just a regular student. Now, we do have a lot of students that are here that don't have a social, so that's not a problem either. Um, we will need to get you in touch with our help desk department so they can help you access your account. Um, and, and you still need access to your account to be able to complete the supplemental application I mentioned. So I'm actually, I actually just put my email uh, on the chat box. If you could please email me um, and that way I can um, get you in contact with who you need to get in contact with so we can get you access to your account. Um, um, and, and then once you're in your account, I'll, I'll walk you through the steps on completing the supplemental application. But yes, you are admitted. Uh, I'm assuming you're graduating this May. Uh, yeah, I'm graduating the 20th. OK, so one of the things and I think I mentioned this earlier, one of the things you want to make sure is that after you graduate that we get your official high school transcripts um, um, that show that you've you know, completed um, high school. But in the meantime, I can help you with the uh, with getting into your account as well as completing the supplemental application. So you're good to go. And once you graduate, you meet with the advisor and get registered. OK, thank you so much. Uh, we did do like an application at school. I think it was one during one of the events because our fee was waived. So I believe I'm also transferred as like an actual student, not only dual enrollment. Not okay. sure about that, but I'll definitely shoot you an email. Thank you so much. Yeah, shoot me an email and then I'll be able to look up your account. If uh, like I said, we've been to pretty much every single high school in Pinellas County in the last month. So um, uh, we probably were at your school at some point. And if you were uh, and if and if you did a supplemental application then, then that's that's great. But yeah, I'll, I'll double check for you and make sure that you have access to your account for sure. OK, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, doesn't look like there's any other questions. So thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you all at SPC. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I really appreciate it. Um, and so now we will have uh, Mr. Carbart, who's going to tell us a little bit about um, SPC's Student Support Services Program, which is a program that provides resources for students who are going to St. Petersburg College. OK, thank you and uh, good evening, everyone. Let me try to go here and also share my screen as well. Some information I want to go over with you. 
Um, okay, let's go here. And let's go to this one. Okay, can everyone see this? Can everyone see it? Yes. Okay, all righty. All right, let's go ahead and get started again. Uh, my name is George Carbert. I'm the Director of Student Support Services at St. Petersburg College. And I've been with the college about 22, going on 23 years now. This program has been in existence uh, during that period of time. Uh, primarily Student Support Services is a year round program. It's uh, primarily dealing with um, uh, first generational students, uh, economically disadvantaged students, and students who may have disabilities that are, kind of make up the cluster of our students. Uh, the program itself is funded through the Department of Education out of Washington, D.C., and also the college kicks in money as well in order for us to be able to operate our program. Now is a great time because we are also accepting applications, uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that part as well as some of the things that we offer uh, within our program. We serve 167 students. Uh, primarily, we're located on two campuses now. We're at the St. Pete Gibbs campus, and we're also up at the Clearwater campus. And uh, the majority of the students who come in our program are students who have already been recruited out of high school and those students who are currently uh, enrolled at St. Petersburg College uh, from that perspective. Some of the things we offer uh, for students themselves uh, in regards to the programs. There's a textbook lending uh, uh, program that we have. This is where students who actually financially may be struggling uh, to pay for either uh, some of their books or access codes to some of their educational supplies and things of that nature. We provide those uh, opportunities for students to literally borrow a book from us, for an example, in the fall, spring or summer, just borrow the textbook at the end of the semester. A student will turn the book back in then that book can hopefully be, be reused at a future date by another student. So it's our textbook lending program, which is one of our biggest programs we have. That's one of the biggest benefits that a lot of students uh, certainly uh, come to us for. One of the other ones is a laptop lending program, especially during the pandemic uh, uh, situations in which we all went through. Uh, this was an excellent opportunity for students to literally borrow the laptop for the entire semester use that laptop, bring it back in and recheck the laptop out. So it's similar to checking out a textbook for some of you guys who may deal with uh, uh, the libraries and things of that nature. So the laptop lending was huge. Students enjoyed that and they still do today where some of our students borrow their laptops. Uh, we're in our spring term now. They use it throughout this spring and then later when the spring is over, they would turn the laptop back in. If they need to borrow it for the summer, they would do so as well. Another one of the uh, things that we offer all of our students as well is tutoring. Again, this is free tutoring that goes on. One of the unique things about our tutoring is that we have our own tutors that basically work for student support services. So you have the general population of tutoring that goes on on every campus at St. Pete College, but you also have, if you're in our program, we have tutoring uh, that's set up for you as well. Uh, the other thing is advising, uh, academic advising. Similar that was mentioned earlier, where if you're in student support services, you're going to be assigned one of our academic uh, advisors who are going to be literally with you from the beginning of the program until you literally graduate from the from our program as well or graduate from St. Pete College. So you're going to have someone assigned to you uh, and that person again will work with you diligently throughout the term of your being here at St. Pete College. Uh, making sure that you're on track for graduating and things of that nature. There is also uh, another uh, uh, thing that we offer our students is uh, transfer uh, assistance, where students get an opportunity to go earn your AA or AS degree from us, and then our advisors help you in regards to transfer. And may you be transferring, looking at staying here at St. Pete College, earning your bachelor's degree, or maybe you're looking at transferring to other uh, state colleges uh, in, in the state of Florida, state colleges or universities. So we will obviously help and assist with that process so you're not doing that on your own. 
One of the big things that our students enjoy is what we call college tours or university tours. Every semester, fall, spring, and even during the summer, we take a group of students on buses and we take them around to some of the four-year colleges and universities in the state of Florida uh, to take a look at some of their particular schools. Uh, give you some examples over the years. We've taken the students up to Florida A&M University. We've taken them up to Florida State. We've been to University of Florida. We've been to University of South Florida. We've been down to Miami. We've been over to uh, Central Florida. So just to give you some ideas there, uh, students enjoy that. Again, we do it typically in the fall, the spring, as well as the summer, uh, where we would take students around to look at the transfer process, the housing situation, may they be living on campus, off campus, scholarships that may be available, things of that nature. One of the other things that we provide for our students is what we call workshops, as well as seminars. Uh, we invite uh, some of the uh, business and industry leaders to come in and speak to our students. I believe on next week we're going to have, I think it's Florida Central. Um, uh, we'll be coming out talking to our students in regards to about understanding credit, understanding credit scores, things of that nature about savings, uh, what have you. So we've we've had and provide those type of workshops for our students so they can get some insight on uh, various things and topics in which we provided over the years. The other one is scholarships. Uh, we provide scholarships to our students as well. One is called a grant aid scholarship, where students who are in our program uh, are basically apply for this particular scholarship, where uh, they may earn or, or receive anywhere between $600 to $800 in a particular semester. Uh, there's foundation scholarships that was mentioned earlier. We encourage all of our students who are in our program to apply for those scholarships. Those scholarships are free to apply for. It doesn't cost you any monies to apply for these different types of scholarships that are out there. One of the other things that's not mentioned on here, but I'm going to bring it up now, is what we call our cultural events and activities. And you may say, well, what is that? This is where the fall and spring and summer as well, we will get a busload of students and take them around to some of the cultural events and activities in the Tampa Bay area. Give you some examples. This past fall, we took a group of students over to the Salvador Dali Museum. On Friday, this Friday coming up, I'm going to be taking a group of students over to the Florida Aquarium and the Lowry Park Zoo, just to give you an idea. So there's culture events and activities. You don't have to pay for those things. Those things are already covered uh, within our own department uh, in regards to admissions in those places, as well as when I take students on these trips, we provide lunch and things of that nature. So there's no cost to you whatsoever in regards to that. And there's no cost for you to sign up for our program. Again, this is a year round program. Uh, we typically start accepting applications around this period of time all the way up until August. There is an online application that will allow you the opportunity to go online. It's a fillable. You just simply fill the application out. All applications come directly to me. Uh, so once you fill the application out, you would simply save it to your desktop and there will be a link for you to also forward that application over to me. There's an interview process that you will go through. You will come in and meet, may it be at the Clearwater campus, if you're closer to the Clearwater campus or the St. Pete Gibbs campus, you would do a face to face sit down with one of our advisors. They will again go over the uh, qualifications, requirements to be accepted into our program, and then they will walk you through the steps in order for that to actually happen. So I encourage you again, there is the uh, website uh, where you can go in regards to getting an application, get that filled out, get it into us as soon as possible. Uh, there's limited uh, access. To our program, we can only serve 167 students. And what I normally do is take a look at every year how many students have graduated from our program. If we had any other students who may have stopped out, we simply replace those students with new students that are coming into uh, to St. Pete College and most importantly coming into our program. Again, there are the phone numbers that you can call if you need to speak to someone at St. Pete Gibbs as well as Clearwater. And let's talk a little bit about qualifications, requirements. Am I eligible for your program? Things of that nature. First thing is that you must be a first generational student. Now we stop there and say, what does that mean? That simply means that neither one of your parents have earned a college degree. 
So that's the first thing, first generational students. Second is students what I call economically disadvantaged students or students who may be eligible for Pell Grant. If you're eligible for a Pell Grant, you've applied, then you certainly will be eligible for our, our program as well. Uh, other thing we look at is, is grades and other things, obviously citizenships uh, as well. And also students who may uh, uh, have, have any forms of disabilities are also eligible for our program. So I would encourage you uh, to look at that, uh, the email address uh, that's there, the website, I'm sorry, the phone numbers that are there as well. Uh, reach out to us. We're accepting applications right now, uh, and that gives you an opportunity to go ahead and apply. And especially those students who are looking at trying to start St. Pete College uh, come this, this fall term. Are there any questions or anything I've gone over so far? Okay, am I done sharing? Can everyone see me now? Um, you're still sharing, Coach Carbart. Okay, let's see, uh, how do I get out of that? Uh, I uh, go back up to share, I guess. OK, thank you so much, Curtis Carbart, for sharing with us about the uh, uh, student support services at SPC. Um, and so I recognize that we spent a lot of time talking about Pinellas Central College as well as um, SPC and Student Support Services. So I wanted to know if there are any questions that you all may have in the audience um, that may have not have been about those topics, but you want to make sure that you get answered tonight. So if it's about financial aid, um, if you have questions about any other universities or colleges, please don't hesitate to ask because the goal of this is to make sure that you all walk away with the information that is pertinent to you. when registration begins for the summer session for SPC? Yes. Okay. Um, um, so we're currently uh, uh, taking students for summer, um, so you can register today. Uh, okay. It's actually been open for a few weeks now, so you, if you're interested in summer, summer class are May 16th. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, a little over a month from today. So yeah, definitely if you're interested, uh, apply as soon as possible because obviously uh, those classes are, are getting pretty full. They get full pretty quick. And then for fall, registration opens April 20th. Um, so in a few weeks, uh, if you're interested in starting the fall uh, term, April 20th, you'll be able to register for classes. Okay, and is that, do they, you do that on campus or you do that online when you register? So um, you can, do you mean to register for classes? Yes. Yeah, so you could, uh, I mean, if you can, it's always best if you can stop by our campus and, and, and get it done there because it's just easier. Uh, but okay. we do have virtual advising that you can get it done uh, there as well. Um, and, and again, I mentioned the uh, Explorers VC event that we're having next week at our various locations. That would be a good opportunity for you to stop by and get registered. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I also want to reiterate the foundation scholarships that have been mentioned previously. Um, they are open for fall and they will close on May 18th. So please take the time if you are going to be a freshman at SPC to apply um, because there are a variety of scholarships and you never know which ones you may qualify for. Are there any other questions that we can answer? Where did you say that we can see those scholarships to be able to apply to them? Um, they are at, uh, I'm going to pull up the link for you, but it's the SBC Foundation Scholarship. So if you Google search um, SBC and Foundation, um, it will pop up for you. But I'm going to make sure that I add it to our chat as well. OK, thank you. Problem. And then in addition to that, um, I'm trying to think which are some other scholarships that may be open. Um, the as Pinellas County Schools has a great website um, where they update it pretty regularly to let you know what scholarships are currently available. Um, if I'm not able to get it in the chat before we end, I'll make sure that um, when I send out the email that includes this uh, recording, I'll include that link as well.
OK, well, if there aren't any, well, if there are any more questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, but before we end the session, I want to share a little bit with you about the PATH program. I'm sure some of you may already know what we do and why we do it, um, but we always want to make sure that you understand our purpose and why we're here. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. This was our agenda for today. And then, um, so the Pinellas uh, Education, oh, sorry, the Pinellas Access to Higher Education Program, also known as the PATH Program, um, we are a collaborative effort between St. Petersburg College as well as the University of South Florida St. Petersburg campus. So our overall mission is to make sure that um, there are equitable, flexible, and attainable pathways for students um, within Pinellas County, as well as if there are other places that students want to go, just making sure that they understand their options and the access to those places. Um, so our vision is that we are increasing the number of students in Pinellas County who are able to attain post-secondary education, as well as under conditions in Pinellas County, so they are able to create economic mobility, as well as fill skill gaps and find um, that they are able to meet the workforce needs that are coming up. So like Mr. Gandolfo said, there are jobs that are going to be available and we want to make sure that students in Pinellas County are able to get those jobs. Um, and so some of the ways that we do that is we want you to know that PATH is the key to success. <laughs> um, but we provide individual as well as group coaching. So if you have any questions outside of today, we are able to meet with you one on one to discuss what your particular situation looks like, as well as getting you the solution to getting to where you want to go next. Um, we also do personal and social engagement opportunities, so making sure that students at SPC have the options to engage with other students and that they have the resources and the skills necessary to be successful in college, whether that's staying at SPC or transferring to USF or another institution. Um, so with that, we do some past sponsor workshops and activities and then we support our students and help guide them between SPC and USF, understanding what those transfer requirements may look like and walking them through the process. So how that looks overall is that regardless of what type of student you are, we want to be a resource. Um, so if you are a high school student, high school student parent who is looking for just general college information, um, we volunteer at the Pinellas County Schools um, College and Career Centers. Um, we host workshops similar to this, so next, in two weeks, we'll have a one for juniors to just talk about what they should expect um, as they prepare for their senior year. Um, and then we put on a summer event called Discover Your Path. So we just want to make sure that all students understand that there are college options. And while I work for USF and SPC, um, we don't just promote those schools. So we want to make sure that everything is possible and that you understand what is out there and how to get there. And then in addition to that, we offer transfer student support. Um, so we, whether they're students who are coming specifically to USF St. Pete campus or coming to USF as a whole, making sure that they're connected to the resources that will help them be successful students. Um, this is our current staff. So there is myself, Danica Walker. Then we also have Xavier Ramos, who is our assistant director. Um, we have a website that you can go to. Um, it gives a little bit more information about the PATH program and what we do. Um, there's also, don't know why that's covered up, but we have a Facebook page, which is just PATH program. And then we have our Instagram page. So we try to highlight upcoming events. We share some tips and information. And then when we are aware of them, we provide scholarship information as well. Um, so with that being said, this is pretty much the end of our, our workshop. Um, I hope that you all have gained a bit of useful knowledge. Um, I'm going to make sure, like I mentioned before, that all the information that you've gotten today will be shared with you, as well as other participants who um, maybe could not show up today. And I ask, if possible, that you take our survey. Um, it helps us to know what we did well, what we can improve on, so that as we continue to provide workshops or other services, that we know that we're getting to the heart of what you need as students or as parents. So I'm going to leave this up here for a little bit, and then I'll also add it to our chat. Um, but with that being said, again, if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask them. Please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, we want to make sure that you have all the information that you need today.